So today I want to talk about acceleration. Uh, and before we discuss uh, acceleration, I need to explain the difference uh, between average and instantaneous velocity. So for average and instantaneous velocity, what I want you to imagine is say, um, maybe you're on your way to school. So first you're in a parked car for a bit, or maybe you're waiting for the bus. Um, you start the car or the bus picks you up and it's going to accelerate to some speed. Okay. So let's get some curve here. And then from there, maybe it maintains that speed for a bit. But then you're at school and it's got to slow down. Uh, <clears throat> I talked about velocity as maybe we can think of it as the slope of a position time graph, but what you may notice from this journey just going to school, uh, the slope isn't consistent, so we need a new way to think of this. And what I want you to do is imagine a um, <laughs> that's failing. Okay. <laughs> um, what I want you to imagine uh, is a unit circle. So this is a, a circle that is, um, we'll say, one unit, so one arbitrary length um, in radius. And I want you to think of the three trig functions, uh, sine, cosine, and tangent. Oh, um, <laughs> should be Sokotoa. Well, if we take two radii, so let me get another line here. The tangent of this angle so tangents of function um, it'll take in the angle as an argument and it'll spit out a ratio, a ratio between the opposite side over here and the adjacent side right here. So, what I want you to notice though that this is the rise over the run. So if you remember from geometry um, we can take a look at uh, uh, circles like tangent line, uh, the line that's perpendicular to the radius, and that will actually kind of represent the the slope at that moment. So even though we don't have necessarily uh, two points here, that would give us the same same slope. We can kind of see that uh, we are slowing down. But since they're on a curve, we can't really get a slope of that curve. But instead, we can look at the lines that are tangent to that curve. So we can see here we're moving. Um, our position is changing over time. Uh, here, we have stopped. Our position isn't changing over time. Um, same thing over here. We can see that we're speeding up. The tangent line is getting steeper. So you can kind of think of those tangent lines as, as the slope. Um, and that's how we can think of a, an instantaneous velocity. We can't really get the slope of a single point because, again, slope takes in two points. So we're going to use these tangent lines instead. Uh, one thing I want you to notice, though, 
is along the straight path here, all the tangent lines we draw would be tangent to all the, or not tangent, but they would um, go through all the other tangent lines along that section. So this whole straightaway here, or not straightaway, but this whole section that is straight, any of the instantaneous velocities would share the same magnitude as any of the other instantaneous velocities we were to find along this section here. And that's what we mean by like a constant velocity. We're saying that if I were to find the slope of this section, that would get me my average velocity. But at the same time, if I took a tangent of anywhere along that line, it would give me the same number. So the velocity at any time here would equal the average velocity, and that's what we mean by a constant velocity. These sections over here, though, we're speeding up. The tangent lines are not all the same. So if I were to find some imaginary, whoops, um, if I were to find some uh, slope of this imaginary line right here, that would get me the average velocity for that section. But what you'll notice is the tangent lines for that section uh, do not match that slope. So that's how we know we're accelerating. Um, <clears throat> if you're still having trouble wrapping around your head around this idea, you can think of average velocity as the velocity representing the time interval. So again, it's representing this entire time. Whereas an instantaneous velocity is representing a single moment in time. So if we go back to our original setup, We start the bus, or the car, uh, we get moving, and then we have to stop when we get to school. What I'm saying is, uh, an average velocity, we would be finding the slope of a section. Well, if we shrink that section even more, it's still an average velocity. Whatever slope we find, it's still an average, but of a smaller time period. An instantaneous velocity, we have basically taken the time period and shrunk it down to the point where it's just a single point in time. There's no actual interval, because uh, there's no change, change in time. And, and that's what we mean by instantaneous. So for an instantaneous velocity, uh, if, it, if that tangent is the same as the, the slope of the line that it's on, that tells us uh, it's a constant velocity. And that's all I have for you. Thank you.